there are less conjugated bonds and is less visible to the human eye. UV light, which can be harmful to humans, um, come from sunlight, and it can be divided into two categories. The UVA, which is um, 290 to 320 nanometers, and the UVB, which is 320 to 400 nanometers. UV radiation, which can be bad for the human skin, can be protected by sunscreen. Sunscreen can protect against the UVB and UV rays that come from sun radiation. Sunscreen contains these conjugated pi structures. Um, it contains avobenzone, this conjugated pi structure, which absorbs the UVA radiation, and also oxybenzone, which absorbs UVA and UVB radiation. These structures absorb sunlight so your skin does not have to. To explain how conjugated bonds relate to sunscreen, we need to first understand the interaction that occurs between P orbitals. When two P orbitals overlap, the, high, the highest energy level and the lowest energy level will decrease, will overlap and decrease. And this decrease in the energy gap will let the molecule absorb lower wavelengths of light. Like I mentioned earlier, UV radiation can be harmful for humans because it can give you skin cancer or sunburns. But for other animals, it can be very helpful. Whoa! Look who popped in to say hello. Birds, for example, have amazing eyesight, and they're able to see into the invisible light spectrum. This ability to see UV light helps birds in courtship and in foraging or hunting. And an example or an experiment was done where sunscreen was applied to the heads of several male birds. And when they were presented to female birds, the females usually chose the male birds without the sunscreen because they were able to see the UV colors on their, on their feathers. Well, I hope this uh, presentation on conjugated bonds and UV light was really helpful for you guys. It really was. It helped me out. I know that for sure. And I think it helped everyone else out too. Thank you for listening to our video about conjugated bonds. I know I learned a lot. And I hope you did too. Come back again next time.